Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, what do we have today? All right, we've got two today. Two. To do a little, a little side by side, yeah. So we okay. have Larceny. Well, that looks like a Heaven Hill Larceny. <laughs> Heaven Hill product, and it's Big Brother Larceny Barrel Proof. Ah. So, standard issue Larceny. 92 proof. 92 proof, Heaven Hill. Um, website alludes to a six year old taste profile. They don't actually come out and say it's aged six years, they say the barrels are selected to give it its six year old age profile. What that, what that feels like to me is maybe at some point there was a six year age statement yeah. that's fallen off the bottle, Yeah. but they're still trying to keep that taste yeah. as so best as they can. It might be six, yeah. might it's, be five, it's, maybe seven, who knows? Yeah, Or three. And well, then, probably more than three. <laughs> yeah. And then so this one says on the website between six and eight years old, or a blend of probably six and eight year old barrels. Yeah. Um, so this one is barrel proof. This is batch A121. And it comes in at 114.8 proof. So the they release, I believe, four of these a year. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is the first one of, of 2021. So the A121 just means batch A. Okay. 121, January 2021. Got it. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Um, but this will be my first exploration into the Larceny Barrel Proof. We both had this. Oh, yeah. Yep. We both like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, it's been a while since I've actually had this. Yeah. Um, and I've never had this one. I haven't either. We've, you know, with, with how long I've been in the collecting bourbon, I've kind of missed out on some of the releases of the uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which they kind of do the same thing, yep. you know, for a few of them a year. And so this was the first one of these that I stumbled upon and was able to get a hold of. So I'm pretty excited about it. I've been waiting anxiously to get into it. How should we do this? Let's go ahead and pour both of them. Okay. So I'm going to pour... Pour the regular one on the right, and I'll do the same thing. Right. Well, wait a minute. My right or your right? I think they might both be the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Larceny is a weeded bourbon. Ooh, pour a little bit more in there than I probably needed. Um, which means that, let's switch these back around so we know which yep. is which. Which means that the, the traditional rye is replaced with wheat, giving it a sweeter profile. Sweeter, smoother. Takes S away smoother. some of the bite. There's still a unique uh, strength to a weeded bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's not without spice. Right. You know. And there's definitely a lot of interest and complexity. So Just get nice caramels, sweet caramels off of a weeded bourbon. Not a ton jumping out at me. That's what I was thinking. I'm beyond the caramel. Yeah, a couple. Yeah. You know, definitely some oak. Some oak. There's a like a little bit of a peppery note, but it's light. Kind of a nice oak, actually. Um, this is a nice, easy one. It's $22 a bottle on average in our little right. section of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> typically yeah. available every day. Yeah, most places are going to have the regular larceny. This one's a little tougher because it is a limited Seasonal. release. Yep. There's batches of it, so there's only so much of each batch. Do you remember how much it was? Forty nine. That's a, that seems right. Yeah. You know, I saw one. I, you know, I've seen this at two places, and the one guy had it for like seventy. I don't like being overcharged for <laughs> bourbon. Like, I'll, if it's super rare, I'll pay a little bit more. Right. You know. Yep, I agree, but. Definitely caramel and oak on the palate, too. So I get a note, in the, and I attribute it to the wheat, but like a, a bready, yep. kind of just smooth. Yeah, we've talked before with um, wheaters that we, I, I always get that shortbread note, and yep. you've talked about that, too. So that this is this has that as well. A sweet, smooth, bready note. It's yep. just awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's 
<coughs> it's not imposing or anything like that. There's nothing that really juts out in one way or another, one direction or another. But then under that, there is still like a, the spice from the barrel probably, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of alcohol proof. Yep. And um, the finish goes long with a really nice fade of the spiciness. Almost like a cinnamon finish, but it's, it's light. Yeah, I can see that. It definitely does come with a little bit of spice on the back end of it. Mm -hmm. um, up front, it's almost kind of flat at first. Right. It doesn't really hit you right away with anything. Um, but this is a nice entry level one. It's a great starting bourbon. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For and the... not, not just starting. I mean, I have 100 bottles on the wall, and this one <laughs> yeah. his, his deserves to be there as much as everyone else. This is an awesome bourbon. Sure. Yeah, I really like it, to be honest. I mean, it's a good, mm -hmm. you know, inexpensive sit around the campfire and pass the bottle around sort of thing, you know? Totally agree. And you're getting a little extra proof above a, a standard entry level, like, you know, 86 yep. or yep. even 80 proof. You get the 92 proof, so you're getting a little bit, but you're not not edging up too high, Yep. you know, so. Yeah, I always thought 90, between 90 and 100 is the wheelhouse. That's where it's comfortable. Yeah. It is really. Comfortable. Now, I prefer higher proof than that as far as like if I want to just sit down and really enjoy one yep but comfortable for most people right. to just sit and sip have a couple sure you know yep um, but I've definitely gotten very much into the cast strength stuff as I've gotten a little more you know explored those a little more so that's why I'm really excited to try this one but those cast strength ones are a bit more of an investment whether it be, obviously, some of them cost more, mm -hmm. but more of a time commitment. Like, you know, if you're going to sit down and drink one of those, you know, it's going to be the evening sometimes. Well, yeah, that's why, like with a cast strength one, and uh, I wouldn't sit around the campfire <laughs> and have, if I'm going to have a few drinks, right. you know, I'm going to hang out for a few hours, yep. and I don't want to just have one and then sit there with nothing in my hand. <laughs> I want to consistently have a drink in my hand, whatever. I'm going lower proof, Yep. you know? That's why it's fun to find those low proof ones that, that actually still have some good flavor to yep. them. But you find that balance between the proof and the flavor. Because, yeah, I'm not going to sit and sip on 120 proof bourbon all night long. Because it's, it's a short night. Yeah. Mm. All right. Let's see what this... Let me get a little sip of water here. Initial aroma is similar. Yeah, it's, it's the same family. It's maybe a tad more intense, but it's just the the caramel flavor kind of coming through. Yeah, I don't think I don't feel like I'm getting 114 proof on the nose here. It's surprising. Like, yeah, I yeah. would not guess it's that high of a proof. Like, typically bourbons in this proof point tend to burn a little bit more. Yeah, I especially get a burn on the nose. Yeah. Oh, from higher proof stuff, right? But yeah, I'm not getting a huge. Um, Definitely getting brown sugar now, so it's it's sweet. Yeah, I can see that. And that's got to come from the barrel, being in the barrel longer. Yeah, something a little darker. Yeah. Than the regular. All right, I'm gonna go in for the palate here. Yeah. Cheers. It's an experience. That's a weird cask strength. Like, <coughs> excuse me. It takes it a minute. Yeah. Like I'm just getting the burn now. It's nothing on the on the initial. Yeah. Like it's it's smooth. It's got like a weird like body to it. Like there's almost like a thickness and yeah. like a syrupiness, and it's sweet. At first, I was like, where the hell is the proof? Yeah, exactly. And then as I was, right when I turned to you and I said, it, it's a weird yeah. cast right, and I sat the, there for a couple of seconds, all of a sudden, it's just like, turned, yeah. it's like when you eat hot sauce or something, and there's like a, you know, yeah. five second delay on yeah. it, <laughs> you know? Like, this one definitely... The proof finally shows up, but it's, it yeah. takes it a bit. But this is... That's odd. I don't know that I've ever had that on a, on a high proof bourbon where you have to wait for the... I mean, some of them you have that initial bite right in front of your, you know, the tip of your tongue. As soon as it hits your tongue, it burns. The sledgehammer. Yeah, and then it finishes yeah. off. 
you know, a little bit lighter. Some of them start out lighter and then they finish off. This one just it was nothing. It was nothing. Swallowed it, sat for a couple seconds, and then the finish all of a sudden just started this alcohol burn that was flavorful too. But yep, really weird. It's an interesting style. Um, getting some honey and brown sugar, and I, I realize those are like sweet notes. It is sweet, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. It's not rattle your teeth sweet. Mm -hmm. The traditional caramel and vanilla notes. Second sip, got a little bit more of that proof. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> not up front, but much quicker. Yep. As soon as you swallow it, then it's just like this kind of growing heat. Like, I've had finishes where, like, the flavor kind of grows back after yeah. you swallow it, and all of a sudden you get this finish of, like, this burst of new flavors, but never had that with the proof the like this. Point. This is just a really odd... It definitely smells like larceny proofed up. You know, yeah. it's... Yeah. I would say, yeah, I mean, it really, the similarity, the... The bready note, wheat note, is mm -hmm. there. It's noticeable. This has got a great finish that that is a little bit more spiky slash spicy than yeah. than this one. I think it's awesome, but I think it is definitely unique. And again, probably not. This is probably a better choice for everyday drinking bourbon. Oh, yeah. This is a better choice for something unique. and That you really want to sit and enjoy and, yeah. and explore the flavors of it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, every sip of this got better. Definitely. The first one, I was a little bit like, ugh. What happened there? Yeah, like not like, ugh, like it was bad. But right. it's just kind of like, oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> And every sip got better after that first, it's almost like that first wave of heat had to kick in. Yeah. And then every one, every sip after that, you, you really got that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is, I've heard mixed reviews about the Larceny Barrel Proofs. Mm. It's not all down the line, yeah, these are great, go get them. Um, and every batch is different. Mm -hmm. uh, so this being my first one, I'll definitely buy another one, you know, the next batch when it comes out. Yeah. And I definitely am looking forward to drinking a little bit more of this and just really kind of See how, like, sitting with it and with you know, a have a full day. pour of it and just relax some night and just really yeah. get into it and enjoy it. Because I think there's a lot going on there. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just definitely got a, it's a whole different experience. It just, I don't know what it is about it. Really odd, but yeah, yeah it's really good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like it. It is a tad unique and takes a little getting used to, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad. I mean, anything that's come out of Heaven Hill, I've typically tended I'm to sure like. I'm sure they make really... a bad bourbon. I just haven't found it yeah. yet. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I really tend to like their products. And so, like I said, I've heard the you know mixed reviews on the different batches of this and stuff like that. So, And I suppose when you're doing unique batches there's that are different, some... yeah, there's yeah. some of them aren't going to be as good as others. But yeah. um, the more I got into this, the more I really enjoyed it. So, good. yeah, I would, uh, I would, you know, if you're, if you're into high-proof bourbons... Give this one a shot. It's definitely something different. And it's interesting that you and I had the same experience. Like, it yeah. wasn't just one of us that yeah. had that. Like, we had the exact same experience with that delayed proof. Right. So, hopefully, anybody else who has this will maybe have the same thing and kind of have that unique experience as well. So, All right. This has been the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I am Ben. And this has been Larceny and Larceny Barrel Proof. Cheers. <laughs>